Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy Friday afternoon. I hope you're well, I hope you're having a good day. And if you are at work, you've not got long left. And if you work the weekends, I'm so sorry. I've probably ruined your mood a little bit. But anyway, I hope you're having a good day. And obviously it's game day, 8 p.m. UK time, Spurs at home to Manchester City. And it's um, it's, it's a day that I'm obviously nervous for, but I'm absolutely buzzing for it you know to fact it feels like it was two months ago when we last played so it definitely feels like it's good to be back it's good to see Andrew and the boys and uh yeah we've got some obviously some really interesting chance news surrounding Newcastle and Pierre Emil Hoiberg so we'll talk a little bit about that and I did actually have a little um a little quote I said little it's actually fairly decently sized Ange around Christian Romero and how he's developed into being a bit of a leader which maybe you don't normally see from day-to-day -day media but I definitely want to talk about that and uh, yeah, I guess talking about Mr. Klopp and the fact that he's leaving Liverpool at the end of the season. So plenty to talk about, plenty to get into. I just want to say, if you're new, subscribe. Very much welcome to join us. And uh, let's let's first and foremost talk about the headline. And this came from the Mail Sport. And they said that Newcastle, quote, I up a loan deal, quote, for Tottenham midfielder Pierre-Emil Hoiberg. So already... On the face of that, no, right? You're sitting there, I'm standing here, I'm talking, you're listening or reading or, you know, flipping me the bird, whatever you're doing. But you're sitting there going, there's no way Spurs will loan out pierre Emil Hoiberg for nothing, right? Or, or like a short-term loan deal, which the amount of Newcastle fans that go, yeah, but if we can get him on loan for six months, why not? And, you know, and, and it's not their fault they don't know anything about what's happening at Spurs. They're not Spurs fans. But, you know, it's kind of, you have to sit there and say, just to FYI, he'll only join you if there's an obligation. He's not joining you for loan sake because Spurs want to marry up. If they sell him, they want to buy someone. They want to marry up those sort of figures or to be roughly the same. So FFP don't become, FFP doesn't become a slight issue. Tom Barkley from Sun put regarding Pierre Mohoy, but understand Spurs are not keen on loaning him out. Things to change nearer the window. We um, we get to the end of the window. Sorry. But currently, if he is to leave, they would want it to be a permanent deal. I think Spurs would take a loan with obligation. Now, don't get me wrong. If, the, if someone goes, 20 million, I'll have Pierre Mahoyberg, Spurs would go, there you go, lad. He's all yours. But if someone goes, on a loan deal, 20 million obligation to sign Pierre or Hoiberg, I think Spurs would go, yep, all yours. And then I do genuinely think that opens the door to go after an Edison, a Gallagher or... No, a, 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 a younger English midfielder. I think Edison would be the only uh, non-English player that we would go for in the midfield, the Atlanta midfielder, which I talked about the other day. Look, I, I, to be honest, we're sitting up on the 26th of January, right? I don't see any us signing anyone new. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I know new, sir. I see that. But I mean for this season, I don't see us signing anyone this window, this season, I just think it's getting a bit late now. And Spurs have done some good business so far. Draguzin is, uh, or uh, Drag, uh, Dragushin, I think that's how you said. Sorry again. He's been a great signing. I think Timo is a good, useful signing. Low risk, high reward. Doesn't work out. Back to Leipzig he goes. Does play well and works out, which look, we've seen one game. He was pretty decent, all things considered. Got an assist. So he's done better than most 007 merchants. Look. We'll see about him, but he'd be cheap, 15 million. In today's market, is quite weirdly nothing, you know. But for for this situation, I just don't see it. Now, if Spurs do get an offer, maybe maybe in the next couple of days, over the weekend, maybe on Monday, then it goes, right, we've got an offer. We've got an offer we like, or we've got an offer that we think we could like. You know, we might be able to get this team to come up a little bit more. We're going to start moving. We need to start thinking about someone else. And I think they would knock on Chelsea's door and go, Conor Gallagher, we want him. And the thing is, Chelsea play tonight at 7.45 against Villa. Keen to see if Gallagher starts. But also, because they play tonight, they're more they're more likely to chat chances over the weekend. So, potentially. Um, yeah, on, on Klopp, really quickly. Was quite shocked when I saw this. I was at the gym earlier, and I was quite shocked when I saw it. And uh, look, the Pep-Klopp rivalry's you know, been one of the best you'll ever see in football ever. As a as a, a neutral, look, it does suck because I think Klopp's a great manager. He is a great manager, and you know, great. We we throw it around too much. You know, oh, that guy's great. This guy's great. Oh, that's great. We use it too much, but Klopp is genuinely a great manager. And 
<laughs> for, for a Spurs fan, don't get me wrong, it's bloody great, you know. L L Liverpool might be weaker next year. You know, does Salah go in the summer? What happens with Van Dijk? You know, does do some of Klopp's long-standing players kind of look at it and go, actually, this could be a good time for me to go and try something else? Potentially. But I don't know. But yeah, let, let me also just finish off with the Ange comments on Christian Romero. And uh, he was talking about the the void that Son had left as captain. And uh, he said that Romero stepped up. And he said that there's definitely a void, but with all these things, there's definitely opportunities. That's where Romero stepped up. You just feel it around the place. He knows that Sonny's not here and he knows what Sonny does on a daily basis. Sonny gets around the, everyone in the building and says, how you going? That's an Australian term. How you going? It's how you doing, right? Um, and Christian's doing that now. I can see that. In training, he's been a lot more vocal than he has been in the past. That's the beauty of it. There is a void because you're missing one of your leaders. But for me, on the outside, you're kind of waiting on, is anyone going to step up here? Because we're going to need someone to do, or do I need to interject myself into it? But he stepped up. There's been others too. Vic and goal, he stepped up. And there's a really good feeling amongst the group at the moment over where we are there at. They understand that, that because of what we've been through, <clears throat> okay, somebody's missing man down, but someone fills that void and we keep going until they come back. I think it's been good for the growth of the team. And I want to end it there because I think a lot of fans, because they don't see Romero giving loads of interviews, being crazy vocal, they kind of just think he doesn't really care or anything like that. I think this season has shown he cares. He came back early from injury. You know, he wanted to play through a concussion. You know, he's never really, you know, he, don't worry, he hurt himself, but he's been playing through niggles and things like that. And that shows that, you know, this captaincy role that he was given, he really cherishes. You know, the fact that now Madison, Madison's back, the other vice captain, you've got two captains on the pitch again. You know, Vicario, I think is, Vicario potentially is, is a captain in waiting. You know what I mean? I think, you know, in four or five years time, if things go the way they go, I think he'll be a captain in the waiting. I think Mickey van der Ven could be. You know, and it shows, I think you're starting to see a lot of guys come out of their shells and go, you know, and try and do a little bit what Son does. Because Son wasn't always like this. Son was just the guy that everyone loved in the change room. He's a great guy. And I think you've seen this year that Son was a perfect captain. A lot of us didn't think so, but I think he has been a perfect captain. When um, when you sort of look on, you know, the rest of the squad, you think Pedro Porro, tell you what, he could be a captain. That guy is, that guy looks like he just gets Spurs, doesn't he? Um, you, know, you look at Vic, you look at Romero, you look at, you know, even Mickey, I think, in the future. When Mickey gets a little bit older and, you know, starts to not assume positions of power in the, in the change room, but, you know, naturally grows into those positions of power, there is a lot of leaders on that pitch. And I think that shows this season about the leaders on the pitch. People are willing to go that little bit more. They're willing to work a little bit harder. They're willing to go through injuries, even. Benton Cause always been coming back from injuries early. I mean, that's another guy that, you know, is is is, is kind of developed into this leader you know Romero is another one um we think Madison's back a little bit early you think Van der Ven's come back a little bit early Adogi's played through injuries I mean Kulisevsky's you know bedridden ill and sick before the Magnata game he's like I want to see if I can try and go though you know you wouldn't have seen this in the last few years and I'm loving it that's why I want to leave it on a positive note because I think it's always nice but anyway guys let's end the video and I hope you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video if you did. Hit me in the comments section below your thoughts and feelings about the Pierre Hoiberg to Newcastle situation. Klopp, if you want to chat about a Klopp. It doesn't always have to be about Spurs. And obviously, Ange's comments on Romero. I hope you liked them. I hope you did. I know I sort of read them to you there. So put your subtitles on if you if you miss anything. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. And hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.